Hi. Today, we'll try to learn the Kalmal filter on Spring Mask system using MATLAB. So, for the Kalman, uh, for the Spring Mask system, we know that the equation could be this one for ordinary differential equations. If we apply the Newton's second law on to the mass m, we'll get this equation where this represents the second derivation of y and so on. In here, m is a mass, and they have other uh, other parameters that so here. S is defined on the spring mass system so that we can say that this mg equal k is and if so then this equation reform as this so this is a second order ODE where the, fu the function f of t this could be f cos theta as a force included in there but in the beginning, we, we thought that f of t equal to 0 and then try to use Kalman filter in here. So first of all, we need to define the system parameters and we say that mass m equal to 10. Suppose that k equal to 5 where k is spring constant, b equal to 3. Suppose damping coefficient which is greater than or equal to 1. And coefficient matrix A equal, we know this, 0, 1, and minus K by M and minus B by M. We know this, 2 by 2 matrix. Now we need to solve homogeneous equation as we, we, we told that F of T equal 0. That means it includes as homogeneous equation. And then we use rows equal ax and uh, we, we need to simulate this that it's really working or not that is for that we need to s call an initial value and we say the initial value is 1 and 0 and uh, we just set up for the time step uh, time step is equal point 2 we can reduce this as point 0 to so depending on this time step it will be fixed like how many time step we are counting in our system for simulating our equation here time we just say 0 to t that means we will start from 0 and we will end at t equal 30 we can change this value and using ODE 45 we can solve this equation Aging, we are just uh, counting rows, time, and initial value. Now we need to generate a rough data where we say that object of noise is 0.3, define observation noise level, and first state is observable. We, we say that the, the that one, and now we need to add noise. That means we are adding noise in the observed variables so observe plus the random randomly i just uh, included the value and assign in a new uh, same variables in here now we need to initialize the filter so we know that okay in here we need to think one thing that is we told that initial value is one zero so the initializer filter it could be also x bar that means uh, which state our object has we just define as one and zero and we are just uh, assigning a covariance gamma that is if we can multiply 0.1 we can do also 0 0.01 so we, we say that 0 0.1 multiply I of length x bar as the length of x bar is one zero. 
ultimately this is the estimated value of x but we assume that this starts from here and we will sequentially increase this thing or we will add or we will modify depending on our calculated value now the variance of estimate is diagonal value of gamma because this is a 2 by 2 matrix as this is this is uh, the maximum length is 2 so ultimately we assign this one in here and then we got variance of estimate as we know that the variance is the diagonal value of a covariance matrix then the state transition matrix would be suppose f equal the i of length x bar plus s multiply a a means we already included in here uh, the coefficient matrix so th this is our observed function now c equal we just assigning some innovation or system error in here and observation error so observe uh, observation error we just uh, assign now we need to implement kalman filter so in here for r equal i just wrote in here a function that is for uh, sorry one, one loop that is for when i will read from the initial that means we remove the first two part and then until the length of observation we'll predict that means we need to update after calculation so f multiply x bar and gamma equal f multiply gamma f prime that means the decomposition part and plus c c means in here innovation of system error that we have already assigned in here and then we need to update so k equal gamma multiply other part divided by so this one we just know the from the formula and then we also need to update x bar as well as the gamma and x bar estimate equal to x bar we are assigning this one the calculated one and variable uh, variance estimate also the same way because we know that the diagonal of gamma always will be the variance as it's estimated that means this will be the estimated variance we end the loop now we need to see the, the, the plot using plotting there is defining uh, some plotting system in here and uh, we are just plotting time to trajectory that we have got and in the same plot we are just giving observe information estimated is information and others and then we just make some leveling and make some title in here some color so th this is the normal thing see. and then we just end the process so ultimately we just uh, use the Kalman filter for our spring mass system in here and this is our ending if we run this system we'll get yes this is the thing we have got so this is the this is uh, ultimately our data set that we have got already and this is the drawings that we have estimated and yes this is our estimated one this depending on the step size until 0 to 30 for both parameters and yes that's it thank you so much